This study is a way in which we're looking at two domains of knowledge. What we were interested in is really understanding whether the political polarization that we see today ends up influencing the way in which people consume science, or if science is a neutral ground, a Switzerland, a place where we can come together and appeal to questions of nature and questions of fact. The data that we used uh, were co-purchases of books, political books and science books uh, from Amazon.com and from Barnes & Noble. We got a sense of how consumers of conservative and liberal ideologies also consume science in similar or different ways. People who are interested in politics and purchase political books are also interested in science. If you look at the science books that they buy, they tend to buy books from very different kinds of fields. Conservatives tended to appreciate and purchase books in more applied disciplines, more commercial disciplines, things like criminology and law. Liberals, on the other hand, tended to prefer the study of evolution, relativity and physics, you know, like basic scientific questions. Basically, conservatives were really focused on applied things. Liberals tended to be focused on basic things. Some of the fields that both sides tend to be uh, interested uh, were best represented in the social uh, sciences and the humanities. So both were interested in political science. Both were interested in law. It's just they were interested in completely different political science, uh, philosophy, and law. One of the reasons why, as a society, we invest billions of dollars in scientific investigation is so that it can furnish us insights that help us understand who we are and to solve our biggest problems. If our exposure to those questions and answers is polarized, it's very difficult for us to use those as part of our arguments. It's very difficult for it to enter public debate. It's very difficult to imagine a political debate that becomes informed by science if, if, uh, if the two sides are reading very different kinds of books, if they don't have access to the same kinds of facts.